Thank you for watching, liking, commenting, sharing, and subscribing right now. It occurred to me today as I was installing and managing applications for my new iPad on the same computer that I manage my iPhone on that I have, at least at one point in time, installed, well, almost 600 applications on this computer. Of course, I have removed some of them. Many of these apps were uh, given to me on review, and quite a few were, of course, free from the iTunes App Store. Yeah, so what happens if my computer crashes and I lose all this data. Well, unfortunately, Apple doesn't make it easy to restore all the acquired applications. Uh, you have to kind of go in and remember which apps you had, at least at one point in time, installed and or purchased. So what I decided to do was print out the list, and that's something I recommend you do as well. So when you're uh, viewing your apps list in iTunes, go ahead and command P and uh, set it to the song listing option. This is my suggestion, of course. You can choose the custom theme. Go into page setup and choose the paper size of tabloid. And the reason why is because you want a larger size. You're going to basically be saving it as a PDF here in a second. So we're going to have a virtual piece of paper at 11 by 17 inches. Be sure to change the orientation to landscape mode as opposed to the default portrait mode. Press OK print, and in a second you will see the dialog here. Instead of printing it out to the printer, choose the PDF option, save as PDF. And once th uh, this is done, you can go ahead and enter in metadata if you want, title, author, subject, keywords, of course for Spotlight, which is useful. I've already done this, however, so I'm going to go ahead and cancel out. And if I move over here, there's the screen recordings that I'm doing right now. Currently I've got the file named apps. And I have a list of all the applications, the sellers, the release date, genre, etc. Got all the data I might need. Uh, that was in the quick view. Of course, I could go ahead and launch it in preview as well. This, uh, these, uh, I guess, fields are fully selectable. It's text, so it's searchable and uh, easy to manage. My suggestion is you do this right now. If you haven't done it before, no time like the present to back up the data that you currently have, at least in a text capacity. So that if something does happen or if you have a question of, did I ever buy that app? Did I ever download that app? Did I ever have it? You've got the answer right in front of you, at least in the PDF that you happen to save. I don't know how to do it in Windows because unfortunately, um, you know, there's really no easy way to print to a PDF, at least by default. I'm sure you could find some software that's available for free to do it. But uh, my suggestion is to do it sooner rather than later. My email address, chris at perillo.com. Of course, I do happen to have a few iPhone apps out there as created by the community. I haven't started to produce my own iPhone or iPad apps yet, but stay tuned for that. You know you can uh, find the community of tech enthusiasts at geeks.perillo.com. And then we also have a live video feed that's streaming out over the web. Soon we will have an official app available in the iTunes App Store. You can watch it right now, the live video feed, at pocket.perillo.com on your iPhone, iPad, or iPod Touch. And then, of course, just pop open your web browser on your desktop anytime, day or night. 24 hours a day, 7 days a week, we are typically talking tech in conjunction with the chat room at live.perillo.com. We'll see you later.